run out of time here. I wanted to see any questions from the audience uh, right now. Um, feel free to either type them in or raise your hand, and I can just relay them. Okay. Yeah, just what do you got? Um, no, I'm just wondering how she manages to balance her family life um, in the high power. Cool. So, so the question from Miss Caroline Ponsetti over here is, how do you manage to balance a uh, family life and the type of high power career that you have? Any any tips on that? I know that's so many tips. Yeah. <laughs> I think about this today. <laughs> Probably the third oh. book on that. I know, I know. I'm so glad someone asked this question. It's become a passe question to ask, and so I never get asked it. And I'm like, I have so many thoughts. Um, so I, um, so I raised money for Pando on maternity leave with Eli, and then six months into building the company, I got pregnant with my second child, Evie. And so for the first three years of the company, I was nursing her pregnant, which is insane. And I did not have a co-founder, so it was just me. Um, so I learned a lot. So it, and it forever shaped the culture of our company. So for one thing, you are forced to delegate way quicker. And one of the biggest problems that founders face is they want to control everything. And when it's your company, you can probably do every job in that company better than someone else. But when you're pregnant and about to go into labor or you have two young kids, like you just can't. And so you got to pick the things that, I mean, one of my big mentors has been Dick Costello from Twitter, who's a wonderful CEO and a wonderful person. And, you know, one of the pieces of advice he gave me early on was the CEO should be do only be doing things that only the CEO can do. And that's incredibly hard when you are a new C first time CEO or building a company because you want to control everything and do everything and micromanage and lead by example and just do it yourself. And you just can't. So we became a more mature organization way quicker because I couldn't do that. The other thing is, you know, TechCrunch was a company where everyone worked 24 hours a day. Everyone worked every weekend. It was a grueling culture. And a lot of Silicon Valley is that way, and people get really burned out. And this is one of the biggest reasons companies sell at, you know, a very young age because people just can't do it anymore, and they can't sustain the pace. And the culture is right. built on this treadmill that just, like, becomes very, very unwieldy. And so, you know, early on, I just sort of had to accept that basically I couldn't work weekends. I mean, I don't even open my laptop on weekends. I am pretty much just with my kids. And I'm on my phone, certainly, and if something big happens. But, like, even when my kids nap, like, I usually nap on the weekends or I go to the gym or something. Like, I don't work at all. And then during the week, I get up at, like, 6. I spend the morning with the kids. Sometimes I'll take my son to school. I'll go work out after that. I'll work for about eight hours. I'll get home to rock them. I'll, I always spend dinner with them. and Not always dinner, but I always come home to bathe them and rock them. And then if I have dinners or anything, I do them after 8 o'clock when the kids have gone to bed. Um, so I just have these, like, I have a lot of structure. I have these built-in times in the day. Um, I work out more than I ever have because I have basically 10 hours a week I can, and so I make sure that I actually make it there. Otherwise, it's not happening. So, like, structure, ritual, that's really, really important when you're a working mom because it's also really, really good for the kids. But the good thing about it, I worried that because I couldn't work 24 hours a day, we wouldn't be very successful because the rest of your team won't work that schedule if you're not working that schedule and you kind of can't ask them to. But it actually has been the opposite. It has made us um, a place that people love to work. And it makes you a place that can build a company for the long term, which is very much our goal. And again, we just did an interview with this company, Slack, which is an incredibly hot company in the Valley right now. Um, and uh, Stuart, the, the founder, was saying that they have more 40-year-old and up engineers than any any billion dollar company and probably work the fewest number of hours per week. And he said basically at 630 this company is empty. And I've never heard a billion dollar company say that in Silicon Valley. But there's a real recollection that this like treadmill of intensity is really a lot of like wasted cycles. 